Let's look at customer service and how to do it the right way. The good news in relation to customer service is that Amazon actually takes care of most of the inbound customer service queries. It's actually pretty rare that a customer will need your help and if they do, they'll generally get in touch via a message with inside the Amazon Seller Central account. Most of the time, it's to ask a product specific question that Amazon cannot answer. Certain things like compatibility or dimensions of an item. You can use these queries to create more and more detail within your listings. And if you do have a detailed listing, then the questions become even more rare. If you do get specific questions regularly, I recommend that you incorporate this sort of customer feedback into your listings so that you can avoid having to answer the same customer service queries again in the future. At times, customers will send you a message before getting in touch with Amazon. So if a customer asked you about the status of an order or anything relating to the delivery of an order, then you can simply redirect them back to Amazon. One of the main queries would be an invoice request specifically within the European marketplaces. You must provide this to the customer because we have technically sold the product to them, not Amazon selling it to them. To create an invoice on the fly, you can use many different services, but for a quick solution, I can certainly recommend invoice2.me, and it's completely free of charge. You can go in there and type in your company name, your address, your invoice. You can create an invoice number and break down the order for the customer by simply going into the order inside Seller Central, grabbing all the details that are relevant and putting them into the invoice. You can send the invoice to the customer as an attachment to the message that they sent to you inside Seller Central. It's very important that you answer all customer service queries within 24 hours from the time the message arrived inside your account. This includes weekends and public holidays. This means that you need to log into your account at least once a day to check messages and you can also receive messages directly into your email account via the email address that you set up with your Amazon account. This is particularly important when you're selling in multiple territories. So log in at least once a day and check and answer any messages or make sure that the email address that you have associated with your account is checked every day. You can also create pre-written templates to answer a common question to speed up the process. It's also very important that you don't overstep your boundary whenever it comes to contacting a customer. You should only ever get in contact with a customer if they've contacted you first. Don't treat customer service as a way to reach out and ask for reviews or anything like that. Bear in mind that Amazon already does this for you. So do not treat customer service as a way to reach out for reviews. You can get in touch with the customer if they've had a negative order experience. Also, make sure that you always answer customers professionally and give them the same level of care that Amazon offers. So let's now take a look at how to answer customer service messages, the template that answers, and where we find the number of messages that are inside your Seller Central account. You can find the messages in the performance area inside the buy message area, circled here. Whenever there is a message to be answered, you will see a number of messages either under or over the 24 hour target. Obviously we wanna keep all of those messages inside the 24 hour target. So if we see a number in here, we can simply click into the number and this will bring us into the messaging area. So here we can see a couple of sample messages that are here to be answered and we can also see some tools and resources here which allow us to manage the email templates. We can also see our current seller contact response metrics, which give us a seven day average response time. So we can simply click on the manage email templates and this will actually give us a list of the email templates that we have created in the past. To create a template, we simply go over to create template. We give the template a name and we type in the template text that we are looking to put in here. After we've typed in all of our information, we just click on the save button. This will then save the template here. I named it sample and we can obviously edit or delete it from here as well. Going back to the message then, all we have to do to answer a message is to actually click the subject line of the message itself. It will then bring us into the message and we can then answer it from here. To answer the message, we simply go to the reply area and we type in the message that we wanna send back to the customer. If we need to add any attachments, such as an invoice or a picture or whatever, it may be that the customer is looking for, we can click our attachment and then add that to the message as well. If you want to use a template that we looked at, you simply go over to insert email template and then select the template that relates to this message 
and then click reply. That will then send that message to the customer and that message is then answered and you can move on to the next. Also, if you ever need to look at the order or if you want to find out some more information about the order so that you can complete the invoice, in the order ID area, you can click that number and that will actually bring you into the order itself.